Welcome back students welcome to Priya's Life Science Academy I hope you understood the previous video of gene mapping and did the sum by yourselves if you have any doubts you can always comment below and also can mail me in the given mail id i gave you two homeworks i hope you have done the sum now let's do it together and today we will understand two very important points of gene mapping that is interference and coefficient of coincidence interference i gave you a very basic idea about interference before so let's uh, try to elaborate it once again like for example here is gene a b c and here is gene small a small b small c so you know there are two types of crossing over that is single crossing over can be there and double crossing over can be there so there it can be it can be crossing over between these a and b gene this is the first crossing over now there is a notion that the cr this crossing over will interfere with the occurrence of the next crossing over of the adjacent gene okay so this crossover interferes of the crossing over of the adjacent gene likewise this will be true for this gene also like if the if the first crossing over occurs between the gene b and c this will also interfere with the occurrence of crossing over between a and b okay so once there is a single crossover event it inhibits or interferes with another crossing over greek event of the adjacent gene okay so this is known as interference interference or inhibition you can say that is one crossing over event inhibits or interferes with the other crossing over event of the adjacent gene so that is known as interference that is why that is the reason why you got the dco percentage in the least number because whenever there is a single crossover event it lowers the chance of the double crossover event of the adjacent gene that is why we get so less percentage of dco because the double crossover event is very rare it's it's in low percentage amount Th this is the reason okay so i hope you understood what is interference okay so one crossing over between a and b will reduce the chance of another crossing over event between b and c or vice versa one crossing over event between b and c will interfere with another crossing over event between a and b okay so this is known as interference the formula of interference is one minus coc coc means coefficient of co incidence okay coc means coefficient of coincidence now if i say that interference interference this value ranges from 0 to 1 if i say that interference is 0 that means what if there is no interference then the dco will be maximum then then dco will be maximum dco will be one and and there will be coefficient of coincidence what is coefficient of coincidence at occurrence of two crossing over at the same time that is that's known as coefficient of coincidence coincidence means they are occurring at the same time that is dco okay so two when two crossing over occur simultaneously that is coincidence like what's a coincidence what's a coefficient of coincidence that they these two crossing over events are occurring at the same time so whenever interference is zero that means the occurrence of two crossing over event is very high because there is no interference between uh, these two crossing over so dco will be high in number and likewise co coefficient of coincidence also if the value ranges between 
the middle value middle value between 0 to 1 that means there is a 50 percent chance of 50 percent chance of this occurring this year because interference is in middle middle value so there will be a little bit of interference so the, there is little bit of interference so there will be a chance of this year in a lower amount that will be all like a 50 50 percentage and if interference is one that means what there is a total interference that means no dissue will occur okay so if interference is one that means no dissue will occur so dissue will be zero at that time dissue will be zero at that time so i hope you understood what is interference and what is coefficient of coincidence now let's do them in the sum so here in order to know the coefficient of coincidence you know that the the formula of coc is observed dco divided by expected dco okay now what is observed dco and what is expected dco the dco you are observing in the sum known as the known as the observed dco and how to take out the expected DCO? Expected DCO is nothing but the multiplication of SCO1 and SCO2. So let's take out the expected DCO. So now we will solve these sums and we will take out the coefficient of coincidence, the interference, okay? So first of all, what you had to do you have to know the NCO you know this this is the large percentage group is the NCO class this is the smallest percentage group was the DCO class and uh, you first have to take out the middle gene how to take out the middle gene just arrange your NCO in such a way so that you can get the DCO so the distance between S and R or we can also say the gene map frequency okay these two 98 92 plus 6 plus 4 10 divided by 1000 point 0.2 now the distance between r and w so it will be this but let's again check that now the distance between r and w is 47 plus 43 plus 10 divided by 1000 it will be it will be 0.1 okay now you have to know what is the what is the formula of coc that is coefficient of coincidence that is observed dco by expected dco you know that what is the observed dco this is the observed dco what we are observing in the question but how to take out the expected dco expected dco is seo1 into seo2 okay so what is your what was your seo1 0.2 into 0.1 so it is 0 0.02 so we took out the expected dco so this is the frequency of the expected dco now we want the number of the expected dco how to record the number of expected dco just just multiply this with the total number of progeny and what is the total number of progeny the total number of progeny is thousand so it is 20 so it was the frequency of the expected dco now if you t have to take out the number of expected dco just multiply it with the total number of progeny now we will do the formula so the coc first observed dco observed dco is 6 plus 4 10 divided by the expected dco expected dc expected dc was 20 so it is 0.5 coc now we have to write the formula of interference interference is equal to 
वन माइनस सी ओ सी सो वन माइनस पॉइंट फाइव विच गिवज यू पॉइंट फाइव सो योर इंटरफरेंस वॉज पॉइंट फाइव सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज इंटरफरेंस वॉट इज सी ओ सी हाउ टू टेक आउट इंटरफरेंस एंड कोफिशियंट ऑफ को इंसिडेंस नाउ इफ यू सी अबाउट दिस सम यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द इन सी ओ क्लास दिस इज द डी सी ओ क्लास यू कैन टेक आउट द मिडिल जीन एंड द जीन डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ह्योर सो फर्स्ट हाउ हाउ विल यू टेक आउट द इंटरफरेंस दर्ज अ फॉर्मूला ऑफ इंटरफरेंस वर्स वन माइनस सी ओ सी so first you have to take out the coc coc means observed dco divided by expected dco okay observed dco you know this is the observed dco that is 4 plus 2 6 you have to take out the expected dco and in order to take out the expected dco what you have to take out you have to take out the frequency of single crossover event and the frequency of the double crossover event how to take out the frequency of the single crossover event and the double crossover event that is by this so this is one single crossover event this is one double crossover event so um, first one single crossover event for 33 plus the dco 4 plus 2 6 divided by the total number so this is 0.11 okay so this is one single sco1 and you have to now again take the sco2 that is that is this 2 59 plus 44 plus the dco that is 6 divided by 740 0.15 so these are the frequency of single crossover event and the double crossover event these are the frequency we are not multiplying it with 100 that was in percentage but this is in terms of frequency okay so for taking out the interference coefficient of coincidence you don't have to multiply it with 100 if you multiply it with 100 it will be in percentage but we need it in frequency okay so this is the single crossover event frequency and single crossover event frequency 2 now how to take out the expected dco expected dco just multiply single crossover event 1 with single crossover event 2 so single crossover event 1 was 0.11 multiplied by 0.15 the result is 0.016 so we got the expected dco now you have to take out the number of the expected dco Now, how will you take out the number of the expected dco just multiply this with the total number of progeny that is 740 so what you got 12.21 so let's put it here observed dco is 6 expected so you got the expected dco 12.21 so it is 0.5 So your COC is zero point five. So I will be one minus zero point five. It will be zero point five. So your interference is zero point five. Okay. So by this way you can take out interference coefficient of coincidence. Okay. I hope you understood, students. If you have any doubt, any queries, you can ask in the comment section. I'll be happy to give you a suitable reply. Thank you for listening. I'll meet you in next session. Thank you.